guys, Gorilla Gang here today and we're doing another review. Now if you can't tell, I've just woke up quiet, just woke up a few minutes ago so my voice might sound a bit weird. But anyway, we've got time for a review. Today we are reviewing the Papo 2017 Cryolophosaurus. And this figure is by far my favourite from Papo that I've ever got. And, like a lot of people, it's probably my favourite from their 2017 releases. I bought this guy from, I bought this guy from everythingdinosaur.com. I recommend doing that because of their fast service and me because of their fast service and me Well, amazing service and fast shipping. Got a bit confused then. That will probably happen a lot since I'm tired. But if you are unable to shop at Everything Dinosaur, I recommend going to Amazon. So for, without further ado, let's have a close look at the figure. Before we take a close look, here are a few, a few quick facts about Cryolophosaurus. Cryolophosaurus was a carnivorous theropod that lived in Antarctica during the Jurassic period. It was about... It was about seven meters long and about as tall as a grizzly bear. Well, Cryolophosaurus lived Antarctica was warm and toasty. Cryolophosaurus had a head crest that that may have been used for temperature display or or threatening rivals or display to mates or any or it could have been used for multiple things. Before it was more well known, Cryolophosaurus was known as Elvosaurus due to its crest being a same, due to its crest being a similar shape to the haircut of rock of world famous rock star Elvis Presley. When Cryolophosaurus lived, Antarctica was what was as hot as the Amazon is today, and it likely fed on the large Jurassic sauropods. So without any more facts, let's let's take a closer look at the figure. So, the detail on this figure is amazing. You can see the individual scales painstakingly carved out on the sculpt. I mean, you probably can't see it, but when I run up my finger across here, I can even fee slightly feel the ribs of this dinosaur like it's alive. It's just amazing. I, also, I am also very fond of the colour scheme. How it starts with the red and white and the black stripes starting out sparse here and, and then going all the way up to the tail. I like it a lot. It stands out. The head on this Cryolophosaurus is beautifully detailed. I mean, just look at that shot. You could see all the individual scales, the eyes done in a wet colour. The nostrils are carved out on the front of the sculpt, and the crest is carved out as well. And like most of Papo's carniv prehistoric carnivorous reptiles, the Cryolophosaurus has an articulated jaw. You can see this flap of skin appears when I open the jaw, and it slides back in very nicely when I close the jaw. It works very smoothly. I am also fond of these spikes going down the head, the neck. Moving to the midsection, the arms are beautifully detailed with their claws, alongside the beautifully detailed bird-like feet. The, the legs, tail and midsection all have an amazing level of detail. I think my favourite thing about this toy is the pose. However, there is one minor nitpick I have about the pose. In real life, Cryolophosaurus could not do this pose. Its tail was not this flexible, and if it tried to stand up like this, it would probably end up breaking its hips. But it is anyway a nice pose. I just noticed all the teeth are individually sculpted, which adds for even more amazing detail. And the inside of the mouth and even the tongue are sculpted and detailed. 
which is an amazing level to detail. So guys, very good figure, I highly recommend it. This Cryolophosaurus figure is quite big. From head to tail it comes in at around 15 to 16 centimetres. And in terms of height it comes in at around 8, 9, 10 centimetres. So yeah, pretty well sized figure. A lot smaller than I was expecting but still good. Firstly for comparison, here is the Papo 2017 Cryolophosaurus next to the new Schleich 2019 Spinosaurus. I recommend you buy both of these figures. Next up we have the Safari LTD Woolly Man Baby next to the Papo 2017 Cryolophosaurus. I like how I've done it here. The baby mouth is trying his best to escape. But watch at the end of the video to find out if he escapes. And in comparison, we have the Safari LTD new 2019 Carnotaurus next to the Papa 2017 Cryolophosaurus. These two dudes are looking like they, ha they want to have a fight. But anyway, put down in the comments who you think would win. I would go for the Carnotaurus, but anyway. These two unique predators look very nice on display next to each other, and I recommend buying both figures. <laughs> and the mammoth was unlucky.